Good morning, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hallelujah. Aloha, namaste. Sunday morning. Again, somehow, it's already Sunday morning again. What madness is this? Oh, good heavens me. I just went to get some breakfast at Charlie's. And now I'm back. Number 99. Today is 12-11. Excuse me. 8-12. 12-11. Yeah, it's December already. Yeah. No, it's 8-12. Today, 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 2 is 11. 2018. 11 plus 2 is 13. Plus 0 is 13. Plus 1 is 14. Plus 8 is 22. 2. And this is the time, perfect time for me to talk to you about vowels. The owls. Okay. V vowels. Vocalization. Vocation. The world is a door. Is a door. Dorothy Theodore. A E I O U. So these are the vowels, right? The beginning of OM. The opening of this the opening, right? The A. Uh, the opening of the vocal cords, vocation, voice box. A th these are all one. A E I O U. All the vowels are phonetic placeholders. They're all the opening. Of um, the a, uh, the aleph, the a, the one. A is one. A B C D E is five. I is nine. O is fifteen. U is twenty-one. And sometimes Y twenty-five. A E I O U. What is the what are what is the common link with there with all of those? Let's look. A is one. E is five. I is nine. O is fifteen. And U is twenty. U is twenty one. And Y is twenty five. What do all those numbers have in common? Right. What are they? A one. E5, I9, O15, U21, Y25. They're what? Odd. They're all odd. Which is what? The Adam of Adam. Adam is odd, Eve is even. Two types of integers. Integer, inte where we get integrity and integration whole. Only two types of integers. Right? Odd and even. Adam and Eve. Or, or, Yang and Yin. Yang, four letters. Yin, three letters. Yang, the sun, Yang, the sun, Yin, the moon, right? Masculine and feminine. What do these have in common with Adam and Eve? Of course, well, they're the same. Four Yang, four Adam, three Yin. Eve. Adam, Eve, Yin. Yang, Adam, Eve, Yin. Sun and moon. Day and night. Deity. So, is this geneticist, genetic, genetics, gen genesis all about the genes of Isis? Yeah, right. It's about this stuff. It's about Kabbalism, Kabbalah. So you have vocalization, vowel, vocation. You see, I got a day job, right? 
uh, with a crew rowing the boat from which I'm on vacation. I've vacated my position temporarily, okay? That's my... That's my day job. My vocation is this. This is my, where I use my voice, my free speech, and I share esoteric truth and light. The same thing, truth, light, wisdom, like this. The vowels. So the consonants, the constant iterations of om, the m, mm, and the vowels are the opening. Um, so everything does that. Yang, yin. Yang, yin. This is why when you meditate, yang, yin. Or ah, um. Like the tide, like the tick tock, tick tock. We're gonna continue now. Oh, so I, but I didn't explain the world is a door to you, so real quick. Whirl, or verl, or verb, verd. W and V, the same, the wave, right? The world. Like the Smashing Pumpkin song, the world is a vampire. World. Vampire. Hmm. <laughs> Ward. Ward. Word. Verd. Verb. Look up the etymology on edamonline.com. You'll see this is all the same stuff. The L, the world, the word, the verb, the logos, the word in the beginning. The alpha, omega, alpha, beta. Alphabet. The bull and the cow, the yang and the yin. The house, <coughs> the boat of the sun and the moon, the bark of Ra, Re, the logos. This is the word in the beginning. So the world is a whirl, phonetically, whirl, like a whirlpool, W H I R L, right? The whirl, D. The whirl, the well, whirl is like atoms, right? And the and the heavenly bodies, the orbs, the planets, the world whirling. The whirl, D. What's the D? That's the delta or the daleth of death. A, B, C, D, four. When the circle is complete. When the world is finished. X marks the spot. Four. North, south, east, west. Earth, air, fire, water. Tetragrammaton. YVHB. The whirling door. Daleth means door, death. It's the doorway. So this is the whirling door between what day and night. Life and death. Yang and yin. Adam and Eve. Odd and even. Dawn and evening. We're going to read a little bit of the first chapter now of Foreseen Beyond Time. I mean, the second chapter. We finished the first chapter. This part's called Distant Compassion. World. Spiritual. Spiral ritual. Let's read what this says here. At the first part of the opening of the second chapter. I hope you don't mind I slip into a British accent every now and then. I don't know why. It feels nice. I like it. I like it very much. All right. Quote from Doris Lessing at Shikasta. Doris Lessing, comma, Shikasta. Must be her alternate name. The planet was for millions of years one of a category of hundreds that we kept a watch on. It was regarded as having potential because its history had always been one of sudden changes, rapid developments, as rapid degradations, periods of stagnation. Anything could be expected of it. Anything. Anything's possible. 
We're already 10 minutes into this video and I only got 15, so we're gonna have to read only a little today. In his legendary interview with the world's leading TV journalist, Tatjana Yurasova in Moscow in 2008, the master of the light had answered one key question about the issues facing the world in an unusually cryptic way. When pressed, he would simply give a few Tao Te Ching type references. The ongoing earth changes and tsunamis were a reality akin to the fullness or emptiness of the Tao. His key statement at the end of the two inter at the end of the two hours interview, which had then been aired worldwide, created the number one Google video clip of all time. Quote, Sir, is it true in your opinion that by 2020 over half of the current world population will be dead? Unquote. Here's the answer from the master of the light. Quote, if you are asking me this particular question about the future of mankind during the earth changes, it means that you do not understand the dynamics of what is about to happen to, the, to this world. Death is an illusion. And the truth of this will become visible to mankind as the earth changes progress. Unquote. That is when I knew that he was going operational with dragon gold. In fact, he told me in 2007 that the code word for the reality team to assemble would be, quote, death is an illusion, unquote. The connected ones would know how and why, and their understanding of the inner dynamics of the earth changes would define how their counterparts in 2027 configured the new timeline into the coming decades. In November 2008, the Master of the Light was holding an informal meeting at Chateau Chillon, Ch Chateau Chillon, inside the Grand Dining Hall. Present around the 40-foot-long medieval oblong table, standing close to the 20-foot-high fireplace, were his information technology specialists, one astrophysicist and a reclusive biomolecular scientist who knew the secret genetic protocols of the Dark Lords. Remember, the Dark Lords were said to be the Greys. Or were the Greys working for the Dark Lords? Uh, the Dark Lords are the Greys, I think. A former special intelligence officer from the European Space, Space Agency escorted an independent observer from the Space Federation into the large hall to oversee the technology transfer. Among the exchanges were, among the exchanges were aware precious metals. Aware precious metals. Conscious precious metal, huh? He opened the watch case below the strap and inserted a 5 millimeter diameter round chip, which carried the entire program of the Space Federation's Information Technology Unit, plus the new OmniNet protocol connections with which to download data from one planet to another. The Master of Light preferred to use the more intricate coordinates of the 2013 Space Star Watch. Hidden elegantly behind its red face, a mother-of-pearl screen opened when he pressed the chronograph crown. On the holographic screen, he could read the time-related alignments on many other planets. I prefer my watch, the Master of Light answered, as the envoy readjusted the thin data carrier to interfere with the time-travel coordinates, to interface with the time-travel coordinates. The envoy, envoy explained how ESA and NSA and NASA, NSA, NASA, NASA, were in contact with Earth orbiter Starcrafts and how their extensive traffic had been decoded since 1966 when Uranus aligned with Pluto in Virgo. During our castle meeting, we were informed that the Master of the Light had decided to move from Earth with a small group of humans and connected ETs. NASA controllers were trying to intercept our team, which amused the participants of our gathering at Chateau Chillon or Xi'an, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, with silent crafts hovering over the icy lake of Geneva. An advanced reptilian race was his protection team for the 2137 Time Location Project. This sounds a lot like fringe and whatnot, right? Oh dear. <laughs> Time travel. Under a blue moon I saw you. You saw me. No, under blue moon, you saw me. Right? That's how the song goes? Well, anyway. Namaste. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. Hallelujah. Aloha.